What is the difference between this crankbait and this one underwater? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, welcome to the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Hey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and punch that notification bell. We have brand new videos here on the channel three times per week. And if you really love bass fishing and you can't get enough, make sure that you check out our new blog site as well, thebassfishinglife.com. Thank you so very much. Well, we all know that there is a bazillion different types of crankbaits out on the market, whether it's body styles, lip designs, whatever it might be. And this time of year, okay, when we're talking about late, late winter, early spring, the water temperatures are still cold. You have really two different schools of thought out there. You have many anglers that are in the school of thought for a tight, wobbling crankbaits and then you have others that like this time of year wide wobbling crankbaits and to tell you I, I don't know if it's a story or not but my own experiences I used to always really focus on the tight wiggling or the tight wobbling crankbaits and then when I was starting to cut my teeth on tournament fishing I ended up down in the Ozarks Table Rock Lake specifically man all the rage down there are wide wobblers, specifically baits like your wiggle wart. Well, that went completely against the ideas and thoughts that I had in my own head. And so I've started really doing some soul searching, I guess, as far as it comes to the crankbaits and, and when I throw certain crankbaits or how I choose my crankbaits based on conditions more so than water temperature and here's what I want to talk about so this particular bait here on this lucky shad this is a tight wobbling crankbait this is very similar uh, in body style to your popular um, shad wraps that type of stuff and if you notice the bill here it is only slightly wider than the body this this crankbait has a very tight wiggle to it as opposed to this one this is a, a a 5xd and you can see the difference in the crankbait bill width here you can see that on this xd series the bill is much much wider and it has a more aggressive wobble to it a wider wobble and then we have here a 1.5 flat side and you can see it's kind of in the middle all right, it's not that true wide wobbling crankbait, but it's not as tight as this one here. So it's somewhere in the middle, but with this flat body design, it is definitely a tighter wiggle to it than a wider one like this, or let's say a square bill that has a very wide wobble to it. So when might I throw these different lures? Well, first of all, we've got some underwater footage I would like to show you. And I've got this slowed down to half speed from what it was filmed at. So it, it's not quite up to full speed, but I slowed it down just a little bit so you can see closer the wiggle on the body or the deflection on the body as it comes through the water. All right, as you can see after looking at these, there's a definite difference uh, in the wobble, which is not a surprise because of the bill. So when might I throw each of these? Well, I've tried to start thinking about crankbaits in the same 
manner, I guess you would, as maybe other soft plastic presentations between finesse fishing, more finesse subtle types of baits, and then more of your power fishing power types of baits. So I'm going to use this type of crankbait where it's got the smaller lip on it and a tighter wiggle or a tighter wobble. This is something I'm going to use when I would typically throw your finesse soft plastic situations, okay? If I'm throwing your shaky heads or, or your Ned rigs on those high, you know, bluebird sunny days, there's no chop on the water, there's like no cloud cover. This would be more a finesse style crankbait and that's how I'm going to think about it and approach it. So where I would throw finesse presentations with soft plastics, that's where I'm going to throw this type of crankbait, a tighter wiggle, a tighter wobble to it. Now, as the lake conditions change, maybe I'm up inside of a pocket and it's flat, calm. That's going to be different than if I come out of that pocket and there's a lot of chop crashing across the point or or maybe hitting some of those main lake shorelines so the more wind that we have the, the more chop that we have um, as far as we get a little bit of cloud cover or a gray day typical more of your power fishing or more aggressive fishing style that's when i pick up a wider wobbling type of a bait and obviously in this deep diving crankbaits a lot of times you know even if it is you know more of a bluebird type of day but I need to get down deep okay I'm going to be picking one of these up because it has a greater depth range than something like this but as those conditions change the wind picks up and and I would be a little bit more aggressive with my baits and presentations because hopefully the bass are chasing more because the the conditions suit that type of behavior that's when i'm going to put my wide wobbling crankbaits on and this flat side this one here is just an all-around great bait for you know kind of in between and this bait here also hits that mid depth range it seems like a lot of times we're throwing crankbaits with square bills and stuff up ultra shallow and then a lot of times we'll go to our real deep divers and we're hitting that 15 foot plus range well this flat side is just a really nice in between there's a lot of bass that hang in those mid depths okay you know around that 10 foot mark and th this is just a good one to hit that particular area and the other thing that's nice about this is, is we know that bass have lateral lines on them and those lateral lines pick up vibration and sound in the water as those sound waves move through the water okay they pick up that water displacement with those lateral lines this body style puts off a very different vibration signature than this one here so sometimes i'll be going to a flat side crankbait when i feel that there's a lot of pressure on a lake or river system maybe on the weekends this is something that's going to be a little bit different so the flat side is just a good all around in between uh, crankbait to have in your arsenal and if one thing you probably noticed on that underwater footage when I was on the deep diver you could really hear the rattles inside of that thing kicking around and knocking around so that is a major difference between a bait like this and this one is the, the sound signature sound vibration is much much different so i hope that this underwater footage kind of gives you a, a better idea of what these baits look like from down at more of the perspective of the bass of what they're seeing you know 99 percent of the time we're seeing the bait from above okay and watching that wobble from above is very different than we in, when we are watching that wobble from the side so hopefully this footage gives you some idea of what a real tight wiggle and a wide wobble look like and next time that you're out on the water you can base your decisions and your choices on those weather conditions. Are you going more with a finesse style of crankbait, that tighter wiggle, or are you going to go with a more aggressive wiggle with that wider bill on it, some of your more traditional deep divers? So hey, make sure that you drop a comment down below and let me know how it goes for you 
out there this season. Hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today because you never know what a difference you just might make in their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.